Hello everyone, and thank you for taking time to join our webinar about how Chrome Enterprise can help your business save time and money. My name is Lauren Hujak. I'm a Chrome customer engineer, having spent the last four years covering the America's reason for Chrome Enterprise. In this session today, we'll begin by talking about some of the current challenges that are facing IT departments as they scale deployment of devices across their organization. This is happening as remote workers become more prevalent. We'll also discuss Chrome Enterprise itself and how it helps improve IT efficiency throughout the entire device lifecycle. And we'll also spend a little time talking about the costs incurred during deployment and how Chrome Enterprise specifically reduces these costs. Finally, we'll take a quick look at a real world example, Hunter and Help, who found that employing Chrome Enterprise reduced their cost by $600 per device and around $120,000 per year for the business. If you happen to be listening live and have any questions, please submit them in the form below and we'll be able to answer them during the presentation. And with that, let's go ahead and get started. If there is one constant, it's change, especially in the world of IT. A reality underscored in 2020 as many organizations have been thrust into a sudden and extended remote workforce arrangement. Regardless of the reason, the fact remains that the way we work is changing, changing rapidly, changing constantly. Businesses are continually looking for ways to reduce costs through a more effective and uh, efficient use of technology. As one would expect, there's numerous surveys and reports that attest to this. A particularly recent Gartner survey pointed out that up to 70% of organizations look to a more effective use of technology as a way to cut costs. The very fact that you're watching this right now suggests that you may well be looking to do the same. It should surprise absolutely no one that the traditional approach to managing the endpoint computing tech stack has the potential to be exceedingly time consuming and costly. Uh, costly both in terms of initial procurement as well as ongoing care and feeding. Tasks such as imaging devices, uh, deploying software, updating that software, uh, deploying OS security batches, backing up data, maintaining identity infrastructure, but like all this culminate in this vicious cycle of interdependence where it's not just a matter of keeping each individual component up to date, but ensuring that in so doing, we don't upset the apple cart and break something elsewhere. This is also something that's exacerbated by the current pandemic situation we find ourselves in. It's no longer practical, uh, if even possible, to simply swing by your company's on-prem tech support center and drop off a machine for updating and maintenance. I, I, I can't just go and pop on down to my tech stop and then hit Starbucks afterwards while we fix it. This is no longer a possibility, at least not in the near future. Now, conversely, by either automating or altogether removing many aspects of this traditional process, Chromebooks are able to minimize downtime while at the same time maximizing end user productivity and IT oversight at a lower total cost of ownership than contemporary systems. And all of this is while meaning, and in many cases, exceeding the highest standards of security. This notion of, of total cost of ownership goes beyond just saving on device cost. It's also about improving operational efficiency. Now, this is something that we've seen evidenced across our growing customer base, especially over the last few years. Uh, we've seen organizations under pressure to reduce technology-related expenses, yet obviously needing to keep the business protected and productive. And this is all without physical access to the user, uh, to the device, the network. And these are the reasons that businesses cite for turning to Chrome OS devices for help. Uh, they provide a secure employee experience that's, that stays out of the way, access to tools that inspire connection and collaboration. And this is all supported by a robust central remote management through Chrome Enterprise. And the market is realizing this. It's for these reasons NPD reported a 109% year over year growth in Chrome OS device sales. And it's also for these reasons that we've reported a 155% increase in commercial sales. So in today's session, let's dive deeper into what these customers are seeing and how Chrome Enterprise is helping them save time and money in the process. Uh, first, let's discuss how Chrome Enterprise helps businesses improve efficiency throughout the device life cycle. And then we'll take a closer look at dollar saved, real money, and show how Chrome 
and G Suite can help take these cost savings further. And then finally, we'll take a firsthand look at a customer success story and show you how Hunter and Health, according to their own calculations, saved $600 per device. Let's start with a look at how we can improve efficiency across the device lifecycle, the entire lifecycle. And I say entire because our initial thought is about simply uh, procuring devices and deploying them out to the workforce. But in reality, there's much more to it than that. In fact, what exactly do we mean when we say the device lifecycle anyway? Let's break it down into three areas. First, we have device deployment. This is the process of initially setting up a device, our, our unboxing experience, right? unwrapping the plastic from around the pallet and pulling a machine straight out of the packaging, getting a, a whiff of that new computer smell and configuring it uh, for our end user to begin working. In addition, we can also consider device redeployment. Now, this is the process of taking a device that's currently in our fleet, reformatting it and configuring it for redistribution to another user. This might be a situation where someone has left the company, or perhaps you have a temporary workforce of uh, contractors or interns who surrendered their devices at the end of their stretch. And finally, there's device decommissioning, where once the machine has met its end of life, we engage in the process of removing data from that device and preparing it for recycling or donation. Now to ascribe actual time values to each of these phases, the Enterprise Strategy Group ran a series of tests to showcase efficiency improvements to a granular detailed level. Let's start with device deployment. Our eye-catching headline declares a time savings of an astounding 76% over the competition. It's quite a bold statement, but let's take a more detailed look at the test results. Like your math teacher uh, used to say back in school, it, it's not enough to get the answer. You have to, you have to show your work. So walking through the process step by step, we see that Chrome OS, not only is the duration of each phase, out of the box setup, updates, things like this, are they shorter in and of themselves, but some steps are not required altogether. Now, how is this possible? I mean, this is, is this truly an apples to apples comparison? Truly, we're, we're cutting corners here. The fact is that many of the steps necessary to ready a Windows machine for deployment aren't required for Chrome devices. And because Chrome devices are designed as a cloud-ready solution, there's no client software to install. And bear in mind that this is a bare-bones Windows system we're deploying here. We didn't take into consideration the installation of things like antivirus software and uh, subsequent library updates. Right? These features are built in and unnecessary on Chrome devices. Yet without these, no IT manager in good conscience would release a, a Windows device into the wild. And so looking at the overall numbers here, consider that at the conclusion of this session today, you could have one Windows machine configured for deployment or four Chrome devices. In fact, you'd already be well down the road on a fifth Chrome device. Now let's look at a redeployment situation. This is a situation where we're preparing a device for reintroduction into our workforce. In this scenario, we see an even more dramatic time savings, 96%. A total elapsed time of one minute and 32 seconds. What's going on here? Well, as before, there are steps in the deployment phase that are not necessary with Chrome devices, yet the real dramatic time difference comes at the reset and update steps. This is because a factory reset of a Chrome device, a power wash, doesn't remove the OS updates. It leaves it at the most current version of the OS, ready for enrollment. So not only is the reset process itself much quicker, but the update step is altogether eliminated. As an aside, I myself have several Chrome devices that I use for testing purposes and all manner of configurations and environments. And this rapid reset feature is by far one of my favorite things about them. It simply makes things so much faster and easier. And finally, let's take a quick look at device decommissioning. Typically, it's not something we think much about as it only happens once per device and usually isn't factored into the employee readiness equation. Yet the reality is that it takes time. Right? This is IT staff time and it occurs on the regular. Anyone who stayed in a role long enough will be guaranteed to be working on a different machine than which they started. So before we send these honorably discharged devices off into the sunset after their loyal service, we need to ensure that they're reset and wiped of any corporate data. A process that 
for Chrome devices takes all of 29 seconds as compared to nearly 16 minutes for brand M. Why so different? Again, because Chrome devices are designed to house very little, if any, user data and no installed thick clients or software packages, the act of resetting a device to pristine state is exceedingly quick. And so putting on our green account advisor and adding up the grand total of time spent deploying, redeploying and retiring a device from our fleet, we come to a difference of 92% in total time saved. Now, granted your specific use case may not involve device redeployment, but even if it doesn't, you're still able to realize a very dramatic time savings overall. For those of you that are interested in the details surrounding the testing comparisons, they can be found in the report on the other end of this link. So we've looked at the deployment costs of the physical hardware and the software, but let's switch gears and look at the cost of productivity. This is turning to the true cost to the business and how we use that hardware and software. Now, while Chrome OS devices are known to offer flexible price points that are generally less expensive than devices with other operating systems, when we talk about lowering costs for a business, the real savings goes beyond that. It's about costs saved through improved operational efficiency. In what ways can we measure this? Well, we can look at decreased downtime. In other words, how much time are users unable to use their devices or, or locked out of them because of a, a required patch or an update? Right? Even shutting down a device can be a, a frustrating and time-consuming process, as oftentimes there's critical updates that need to be applied before that operation can complete. Uh, we can look at security cost avoidance. How much does it cost your business to protect it from threats? Or uh, how much would a successful malware attack negatively impact your business? Help desk savings. How, how many support tickets is your support team fielding? How many of them are directly attributed to your endpoint computing devices? We can also look at legacy technology savings. Effectively, how many servers are you maintaining to provide end users access to services necessary for them to be productive? Improved user productivity. How much time is being wasted from endpoints that freeze or applications that are complex and unwieldy to use. And finally, there's this notion of increased mobility savings. How much productivity is wasted because workers need to be physically at the office to access their work? Something particularly relevant given our current state of the world. In order to help quantify factors like these, Forrester ran a study in an effort to provide a way to measure the true cost of Chrome OS and G Suite for business. In this study, they interviewed and surveyed customers and built a financial model using their total economic impact methodology framework in an effort to understand the cost savings. And by using a, a composite organization, they're able to showcase the benefits to a company of any particular size. In this example, one with uh, 50,000 employees, of which 17,500 of them are knowledge workers and with 7,000 Chrome OS and G Suite users 75,000 endpoints with Chrome as the default browser. So through their study, Forrester found that a business of this makeup would save $19.4 million over the first three years after deployment. Now this pie chart details how these costs are divided up across each category. But let's dig into it a little bit deeper. First, let's look how they calculated decreased downtime. Because Chrome OS updates happen seamlessly in the background, Forrester determined that employees can save as much as 30 minutes on average per week. Think about it. Several minutes of downtime per device while updates are applied, multiplied by thousands of users across the organization culminates in some serious collective lost time. Conversely, Chrome OS updates occurring in the background not only keep users up and running, but also ensure that their device is operating on the most up-to-date and secure version of the OS. And speaking of security, Forrester found that Chrome OS and G Suite reduced the risk of endpoint security issues by 20%, avoiding an average cost of $656,000 per year. How? Well, Chrome's verified boot function dramatically reduces the risk of malware, and the devices leverage built-in tools like um, Google Safe Browsing, to help users identify phishing attacks. Uh, furthermore, IT managers are dependent on the potential flakiness of end users to apply these critical libraries and patches to their machines, right? 
the background updates happen automatically and ensure that security patches hit the device with no potential for an end user to uh, ignore it or push it off until later. A look at the help desk savings shows that Chrome OS and G Suite would improve help desk efficiency by 15.5%, resulting in nearly $250,000 in savings over three years. Now, this is due to the fact that Chrome OS devices are designed to be much easier to use, not only for end users with its simple UI, but also for IT staff to support using a ubiquitous and intuitive uh, cloud-based administration interface. Taking a look at legacy technology savings, Forrester discovered organizations can save $100 per user on legacy solutions over a three-year period. How? Well, with the Chrome and G Suite approach, there's a significant reduction of on-premise servers required for device management, uh, OS, app deployments, all those things, as well as a reduction in on-device legacy software through using cloud-based alternatives. Now, on top of this, there are improved productivity gains. Forrester found that Chrome OS and G Suite saved employees 10 minutes per day per employee and roughly 3.9 million in day-to-day -day activity savings. Now, while productivity features in Chrome like virtual desks, uh, tab groups, quick search, bookmarks, and the Chrome OS app tray, like all of these things in and of themselves provide a relatively minor productivity gains, but the culmination of them combined with the machine learning features built into G Suite result in very real and measurable productivity gains. And finally, increased mobility settings. The ability to enable access anytime, anywhere was found by Forrester to save businesses an astounding 8.8 .8 million over the three year period. Through Chrome Sync, Chrome OS ensures a consistent experience across devices, regardless of platform. And with the help of G Suite, Users are able to host meetings remotely while accessing email and other productivity tools from any device. Now, if numbers like these are appealing or uh, you find yourself curious as to how much money Chrome Enterprise could save your organization, feel free to check out our TCL calculator that accounts for many of the factors that I just covered. Um, with it, you can input details about your business to generate uh, an extensive and detailed report breaking down how much the switch to Chrome OS devices and Chrome Enterprise can potentially save your business. You can find the TCO calculator as well as the Forrester report under the Smart Investment section on chromeenterprise.google slash OS. And the findings by Forrester are borne out by real world customers. Our experience in helping organizations adopt Chrome OS and G Suite technology parallels what their report discovered. Take for example, 100 in Healthcare, a leading hospital network in central New Jersey with an annual revenue of 380 million, employing 2,400 staff. For their complex technology requirements and high levels of security necessary to deliver mission critical healthcare, they chose to deploy 250 Chromebooks and are considering an additional 200. According to their own calculations, they expect to save $600 per device per year, totaling around $120,000 annually. What's important to them in terms of real value? Decreased support volume, since much of the staff found these devices very, very easy to use. Built-in security, no need to tap into third parties to patch browsers and emails. Seamless access, which is especially critical as child development teams make these home visits and need to document each one of those. And finally, speed of deployment, adoption with uncomplicated, low maintenance devices. With that, I'd like to thank you for joining our session today. If you do have additional questions, we'll respond to those by answering anything sent to this email address here. I'd also ask you to please fill out the feedback form to the right, and please join us for the upcoming session. Thank you very much for your attention today.